you know everyday general import process first okay this is our general import template right yesterday we have been downloaded from uh, oracle web content first we will see you know what are the setups required pre defined setups required for this you know some of the columns like you know general source category and these code combinations and this currency conversion rates and this you know period names nothing but whether periods are open or not just we will see the possible prerequisite setups we will see general source uh, uh, is it yeah uh, could you uh, rewind something uh, from the getting the control file on something uh, from which location we can get it uh, especially control file is not useful for us saroj we are not okay. getting any where the control file whatever if the sql loader rejects the file okay it mm -hmm. will create the discard file and the bad file our job is just we need to verify what is the error records for that and what are the errors but we are not anywhere referring the control files in our everyday process no and the file data file we are using and uh, what the columns are mandatory and from where we can see the documentation for that in the oracle uh, for that that okay, i was sister i have been shown right uh, where yeah yeah that, that that's why i requested to please repeat yes you know uh, navigate to oracle web content journals so this is our web content okay here we do have general import right in the general import we do have you know this is the ucm account information and this is your fba spreadsheet template this is your control file when you click on the control file it will download the control file for you and this is your uh, stage 1 load interface file for import import process name import journals and for this general import it's using one of the interface table jl interface this is your jl interface table when you click on a jl interface it will you know open your jl interface table structure sometimes it will open sometimes it will not open yeah. the so that, that table is structure uh, means uh, it, it it is almost same from that for the mandatory or some non mandatory columns yes correct same generally it will be open <coughs> the status not null which is a mandatory and accounting date which is not mandatory currency code which is sorry it's mandatory yes is nothing but mandatory columns some of the mandatory columns you may find here and even though if it is not mandatory process will throws an error we need to populate those columns also not sure uh, what are what are those mandatory columns when you create any transaction from ui at that time you may identify some of the mandatory columns if it is not mentioned mandate in your web bd process so whenever we will run the process then it would uh... it will throws an error correct stage 2 uh, yeah stage 1 nothing but load interface file for import it may reject your file if some of the mandatory columns are missing and stage 2 also may throws an error some of the mandatory columns are missing while validating the data from interface table to base table here in your fba template you can identify some of the mandatory columns which is star symbol which is prefix star symbol status code ledger id effective data transaction journal source general category currency code and general entry creation date actual flag and here in debit credit without debits credits code combinations we are not able to create a journal right but even the oracle is not maintained uh, this is a mandatory so like this you do have some of the columns which is mandatory in order to fulfill the transaction and here ledger name and period name so here ledger name is optional because very first time oracle is using ledger id which is mandatory if you use ledger name then it's become an optional ledger id and the period name without period name also we cannot create any transaction okay even the oracle is you know maintain this is an optional parent optional column but it's a mandatory so the reason whatever a possible mandatory columns are there just populate the data along with that you can identify what are the columns are required in order to fulfill the transaction so better to create a transaction from ui and you can refer what are the columns what are the mandatory columns in the same columns you can identify in your every day process hope it's clear sir it's clear still any doubts uh, no it's clear just uh, means we'll get the xlsm file from the link 
and then we'll generate the zip file from uh, with the and we'll place on the ucm server right, right now we'll see some of the pre uh, requisites here for general source here every client may have this general import process which is the common and generic everyday process for all the clients set up and maintenance navigate for global search here manage general sources manage general sources here this is a manage general sources select this task these sources we can use you know uh, while import the data so among these which one we can use for to import the data by using spreadsheet template nothing but here here we do have import general references and import using key by using these two options we can identify which we uh, which we can use to import you know uh, this general source for example here one of the general source ax inventory ax inventory is enable import general references now this source we can use in our spreadsheet template to import the generals okay for example here auto copy auto copy is not enabled for import general references this is not eligible to import the transactions from your fba template against auto copy source okay wherever it's enabled with import general sources and import using key those are eligible to create you know transactions against your source again here if the same ax inventory is here enable for only import general references and it's not enable import using key okay here ad source one of the general source is enable two options import general references and import using key when both options are enabled both check boxes are enabled then the priority goes for source key not for source name okay when import general references and import using key both check box are enabled you need to refer source key not source name when it is enabled only import general references then you can go for journal name only sir journal source only not the key okay it's not eligible also source if both are enabled then go for source key if only import journal reference enabled just go for only journal source okay this is something related to general sources now general category here something general categories you can use any category there is no specific you know criteria to select the categories you can use any predefined categories general categories you can use any one this is the navigation and currency code currency code is nothing but against uh, you know ledger or against start of account we can use this currency and here before code code combinations we see you know periods the period period is nothing but just you know uh, navigate to home whether the periods are opened or not for any module specific purpose whether payables receivables general ledger and fixed assets for these periods everything is maintaining from general accounting only here general accounting and the period close so period close here all the periods are operates from general accounting only here you could see general ledger receivables costing projects payables and assets okay here general ledger just select the general ledger and these are the periods if you want to open the periods you can open here the open status this is you know future enterable if you want to enter the period if you want to open this period select this period and open here and select your ledger so before this first we need to get an access for you know ledger nothing but our data access set data access set nothing but indirect our ledger here this is the data access set when you click on the change here these are the data access sets are assigned for this user for this test user these are the data access sets are associated so how will you add these data access sets to the user nothing but again here set up and maintenance manage data access set for data users just we need to uh, add security context again the data access set for your user manage data access sets manage data access set data access for users select this task users with data access security context is data access set and you are here you can search for one just search here here role you can search general now you could see you know <coughs> general accounting manager and general accounting roles 
uh, when you add these two roles to the user in your security console screen, okay, then you will get an access for general accounting, right? In general, when you add these two roles, general accounting manager and general accounting, okay, when you add these roles to your user, you will get an access for general accounting, nothing but GR access. After adding your roles, you need to add, you know, security context against your user. Your security context is data access set. Data access set is nothing but which ledger you want to be work. Here, yeah. general accounting manager, the role for this role, for this user, security context is data access set. This data access set assigned with in cloud COA ES ledger. Just copy this. Now, for this role, okay, we are assigned one of the ledger. And this we need to repeat for another role also, general accounting, in cloud COA ES. Like this, we need to add this ledger for these two roles against your user against data access set so, means uh, yeah. data access set and the security context value both are same right in security context you are selecting data access set which is related to your ledger access if you want to uh, get access for business unit <clears throat> again business unit roles are different against your role and if you want to get an access for here reference data set this is for uh, TCA, TCA customer access Okay, this is data access set for ledger access. Now we'll try to create one ledger access here. Just here, create a new here. Just select the username. Select the role. Here you could see the roles, whichever is associated with your user. In security and console, okay, in the security console, in the user screen, whatever roles are you are assigned, those roles you can see here, all the roles. As of now, these many roles are associated with this user. In this user, I want to be add general accountant. For this general accountant, what are the security contexts are available? For this general accountant, data access set and intercompany organization uh, security contexts are available. If you want to set in a data access set, select the data access set. Against the data access set, you could see all your ledger values here. These are the ledger values. Let's, I am adding something user 9 ledger set. Add one more row here, user one, and the same general accountant manager. We need to repeat the same for general accountant manager also. For this role, I could see two security contexts. Select the text security context and add your ledger, same ledger value here. So in the same way, go for another row. We'll see what are the here, user one, and you can select account receivable manager. Let's select receivable manager for this account receivable manager oracle is saying two security contexts are available business unit and reference data set select the business unit then you can get all the business unit values here these are the business units select the reference data sets then you can get you know reference data sets okay. this is uh, this we can add in our AR invoice import process or AR customer process will use these reference data sets and business units. Okay, as of now, you know, uh, for FBDA, GL FBDA process, we need ledger access. Okay, if you want to clear the record here, just click on the clear here, save and close. You can search with, now you can search with data access set, just to use our one. We added a fusion, right? GL. This is, you know, just now we are added fusion 9 ledger set. Now you will, you will get an access uh, you know, to create the transaction to create the transaction against these security context nothing but fusion and ledger set verify here the way we can operate all the security context business unit data access set you know reference data set fixed assets inventory organizations here again navigate to period close here just click on the change here now we could see fusion 9 ledger set right just now we'll get an access for fusion 9 ledger set just click on ok now it's trying to change the data access set for selected data access set now this is associated with this ledger set now here you can change general ledger if you want to open the period against this ledger you can change here this is something related to data access set in the same way and you can open the periods like this the same way when you create the journals here just click on the journals first change the data set whatever you want to create the transaction and using one of the data access set here i think what i'm using this ledger to create the journals now you, you can create the journals 
create a journal against this lecture. Hopefully, it's clear. Any doubts on this? I have a doubt on the reference data set. Uh, Sorry? Doubt on the reference data set. Reference data set we can see, you know, in... In later you can... Yeah, later we can, we can see that very in detail. Okay.